Hey, this is Colin Northway. I'm the author of Incredipede, and I am going to show off the level editor, which I'm actually pretty proud of. So all the levels in the game were made with this level editor. Um, here's the basics, you know, you start off with what every level needs. You got a causal in the middle, you got a goal at the end. The goal is for causal to go through this. And uh, this little camera kind of affects the, um, the flyover when a level starts up, but there's a little, like, uh, intro flyover. So wherever you put this camera, we put it down here, then the flyover will start down there, and then kind of soar majestically up to wherever Quasal is. Oh, look, Quasal's looking at the... Quasal's interested in the camera, too. And, uh, then on the left we have all of our tools of stuff we can do. So the basic, and probably the most interesting one, is just the basic terrain. So, uh, you pop terrain piece in, and you can change its shape. Uh, you can, uh, zoom out if you want to. And so you might see the corners are going to round it on this. So the game rounds the corners off of um, all the terrain. And uh, well, we can, we can rotate it. We can uh, delete it. We can add two in. And so not only does it round these, uh, these singles off, but if you take two and push them together, this kind of cool as hell thing happens. It starts rounding all of them. So you see, the, the terrain is just kind of automatically this nice, kind of bulgy shapes. So it makes it super easy to use, because all you're doing is dragging boxes around. But you end up being able to make these really neat, kind of crazy shapes. Someone's going to tell me this looks like a penis. Yeah, so I really dig this, uh, this level editor. I wrote this while I was in the Philippines. Very inspiring place to write code. Oh, there's a bush. Let that bush go. The bushes are just kind of randomly thrown in. You can't really control where they go, but it makes it simple to use. You can kind of like, oh, if you want a bush up there, you can just kind of tweak stuff until you get the bushes where you want them. Alright, let's see if I was going to make an actual level here, what would I do? Maybe... Maybe you kind of... Maybe you kind of slide down this thing. And then there's... Yeah, I like the mushroom at the end. Put the, put the camera, so down here by the mushroom. Uh, you can also, you know, these do various stuff. We can uh, put in some water. Uh, water, and then we would want to surround it by... We'd want to surround it by land so it doesn't look totally crazy. Oops, that's not land. There we go. And then uh, if we hit test here, we can see what it looks like all skinned up. Oh, it looks okay. I don't really want any water. Uh, we do the same with lava. We throw some lava in if we wanted to. And uh, Quasal really doesn't like that idea because Quasal will get her feet burned. Uh, we can also add in uh, some things that roll, little rocks. You can see the little rocks roll. And uh, if we change the size of these rocks, they kind of become different stuff. So now, you know, what used to be a rock is now like a little rolled up insect. Well, a big rolled up insect. Oh, look out, Quasal. Oof, ow, that hurts. Back to build. The insects, uh, this stuff is, these are the goals of the level, so cherries, Quasal's pretty keen on getting cherries. Yay, I got a cherry! Um, this is wind, wind is pretty cool. Uh, I'll probably make a video showing off wind at some point. Change the backgrounds, so there's the world 2 background. Although it's a little yellow for now. Uh, there's the world, world 1 background. You can kind of change what options players have. They can, uh, can they build muscles, or is it more of a controlling kind of level? You can also make uh, static blocks. So you can see it's all pretty damn easy to use. It's even this like really cool terrain generation stuff that I'm obviously very proud of. Um, this isn't much of a level. Let's see, we should make an actual level you can beat. Um, let's see, this is a super easy level. That's too easy. Uh, let's just put a little lava in. Quasal's not going to like it, but, you know, it's a quest. Quasal's on quests. Quests aren't easy. She's just going to have to deal with the, she's going to have to deal with the trouble in her life. Alright, 
this mushroom is going to have to move. Uh, there we go. Alright, so this isn't a super hard level. We'll hit test. Um, let's see if we can beat it. No, that was bad. We don't want Quasal to burn to death. Alright, now we'll see if we can beat it. Uh, I'm just going to do some, like, random. This is totally not going to fly. Oh, that was bad. I don't know, maybe if I kind of get a walk thing going. Oh god, limbs, stay together! Ah, uh, yeah. So you can't actually beat the level in the in the editor, so if it resets, you know, you beat it. Uh, so that's a pretty good level, so we'll get rid of these so that the player has to figure that out. Go back to build. Uh, save it up. Save it. Let's call it, um... Simple Lava. Simple Lava, because it's pretty easy. Uh, difficulty, not super hard. Maybe one and a half stars. And then uh, this little button, if we unclick this, we can uh, just save it locally. So now we've just got it in our own little... Go back to the menu and then pop open the browse menu. Look at uh, our levels. And there's Simple Lava. Difficulty 2. And we can play it. And uh, if we want to, we can upload it. So this will upload it to the server. I can uh, I can retune what I think the difficulty is, and I can uh, change the name if I want to. That name's fine with me. Um, and when I hit save, publish away. And then I get this little link. Um, this link's uh, not accurate because there's no pre-release. That when you see this, there won't be a pre-release. But I can copy the URL of my clipboard, and I can send it to people. I can paste it into the forums. I can put it in Facebook or Twitter. Uh, this link, since it's a level, uh, people won't be able to play it unless they've bought the game. Uh, if you make a creature while you're playing the game, then anyone can play it, even if they don't own the game. But you can only play levels that, uh, other people can only play levels you make if they own the game. So, you know, forum, the, the game's forum is a good place to put these. And now that I've published it, it'll go under the list of new levels, and people can, can play it and vote on it, and uh, maybe it'll make its way to the list of, like, new and hot. Um, it's probably not in new and hot now yet, because it hasn't really had enough time. Here's some popular levels made by playtesters. Newer levels by uh, made by some playtesters. Uh, yeah, and so I'm, I'm very happy with how the level editor has worked out. And uh, I hope you enjoy playing with it. And I hope you give Quasal some uh, fun levels to play. Alright, thanks very much for watching. And uh, happy and crop eating.